Hello and welcome to the ninth video of Selenium WebDriver series. This series of videos is brought over by H2K Infosys, which is based out of Atlanta, Georgia, United States. In this particular series uh, of videos, we are going to see the um, the following topics. The topics will be the objects with same ID, class, XPath, and CSS selector. What is a class attribute? Handling dynamic objects or IDs on a web page and working with different browsers without changing the code. So let's start with uh, the object with same IDs, XPath and CSS selector. Uh, objects are nothing but web elements in Selenium. So objects may have the same ID, class, or name attribute values. Now, strictly speaking, ID class or name attribute value should be different for different web elements. If not, developers are not following the coding standards. And that's going to create problems as far as creating automation scripts are concerned. Now, why it is going to create problems in creating automation scripts? Now, for example, let's understand that two objects have the same ID attribute values. And... Uh, let's understand that we want to work on a specific web element whose id attribute value is equal to x and there's another web element whose id attribute value is also x okay so we want to actually let's say work on the first web element whose id value is equal to x rather than on working on the second web element whose id value is equal to x now when Selenium WebDriver script runs, it might be possible that the Selenium WebDriver script actually works on the second web element whose ID value is X rather than on the first web element whose ID value is equal to X. This kind of confusion is created because of the ID attribute value being same for both the web elements and Selenium WebDriver will get confused and will perform action on a unwanted web element. Now for example I have two buttons button A and button B. Now the ID attribute value of button A is same as the ID attribute value of button B. Now, I want to perform action on button A and I want to perform the action of clicking on that. So what happens when I run the WebDriver script? It might be possible that Selenium WebDriver gets confused and instead of clicking on button A, we'll click on button B because of the fact that the ID attribute value of button B is same as the ID attribute value of button A. So that is nothing but unwanted action performed by Selenium WebDriver scripts because of the ID attribute value being same for both the buttons. And that is how it might create problems in creating automation scripts. Creating automation scripts will be difficult with same ID class and name as WebDriver may perform actions on an unwanted web element as we have discussed some time back. In the similar manner, no two web elements will have the same XPath or CSS selector. CSS selector or XPath cannot be same for two web elements because CSS selector and XPath are nothing but location or position of the web element with respect to the web page. So it might be possible that the web elements are changing in a particular position or location but the position or the location will remain constant. So it might never be possible or it is never possible rather to be precise to say that two web elements cannot have the same position. It might only be possible that web elements are changing on the same position being kept. So position X to today might belong to a button. Position X might tomorrow belong to a particular let's say edit box. So the position is not going to change. The web elements might change on that particular position. What is a class attribute? This is the next slide that we are going to understand. And next topic. Uh, the value of the class attribute present in an HTML script of a web element comes from the CSS file. Now, we have seen that there is an attribute called the class attribute in the HTML script of a web element. 
the value of this class attribute comes from the CSS file and CSS file are nothing but files which makes or which creates the cosmetic behavior of a particular web page it, it is nothing but a CSS file creates a look and feel for the web elements present in a web page now when I say look and feel it means that the coloring effect the font size the font type these are the thing but look and feel the background color the height the width the width the x coordinate the y coordinate these are nothing but certain properties of a look and feel so when i say css file creates a look and feel for the web elements it precisely means it creates the coloring effect it it creates the font font size it it, it basically creates the font type specified in this CSS file it creates the height of that particular web element it creates the width of the particular web element it creates the x and y coordinate for the particular web element so class attribute values are nothing but the cosmetic behavior that is given to a web particular web element why do we think that two buttons look similar and two buttons might be green in color why it is like that to give you precise understanding let us understand uh, this particular this particular website out here let's go to a website called www.americangolf.co.uk stop and refresh the page again now why do you think these all links look similar when I hover the mouse it turns to blue and when I remove the mouse from that particular link it turns to white why do you think all the links links look similar out here all are in background is in blue whereas the the labels like let's say labels like your golf club clothing and shoes they are white and when I hover the mouse over it it turns to blue why are these basically all looks the same they all look the same because of the fact that the C the CSS file uh, allotted to these but uh, to these links are all same now if I go to the HTML script of this for example if I open up F12 and hold my mouse over this links out here when we look at the When we look at the class given to these all these links which is highlighted out there in the web page the class is category menu mp hyphen level np hyphen level hyphen open the classes are same if the classes are same that means these the value of these classes rather are same and the value of the classes are nothing but sections in the in the CSS file so in the right hand side you can see the section out here uh, category menu section mp hyphen menu this is the section out here you can see which gets highlighted and this is nothing but category menu mp level mp hyphen level mp hyphen level I will open this is the category so that means the class values for all these all these links are same and that is why the look and feel of these buttons are same similarly for example 
if I go to this shop now buttons the shop now buttons out here or if I go down let's say I go to some other website for example if I go to uh, Flipkart now if you see out here all these links per se have the same kind of coloring effect and uh, all these font look the same for these two products out here now if I just open F12 and open the inspect element tool and go and hover my mouse over this green text out here we see that the class is given as the class value is something like 8x1zdc okay and we look at the class value of this particular product called sandisk ultra 128 gb micro the class value is same 8x1zdc the class value of this siska x110 power bank and sandisk ultra 128 gb micro the classes are same this is the value of the class called 8x1zdc and the value of sandisk is also 8x1zdc the value of this under loop is 6 that class value is also 8x1zdc now this class attribute value comes from the css file in the right hand side we will see the css file uh, called 8x 1zdc out here now if I just highlight that particular 8x1zdc this is nothing but the CSS file the style sheet all the four texts are getting highlighted in the web page that means all the class attribute values for all these four different texts are coming from the same sections from of the CSS file and that is what I mean out here if I go back to my PPT so that is what I've given out here that two buttons may have the same font size font color font type as the class attribute value of these buttons might be same now when we work with class name locating strategy we should be careful about it we might it might be possible that I am trying to actually click on this particular product that is uh, Puma Adidas minimum 30% off and I have used the class name locating strategy now if you look at this particular products that are given out here there's a bag there's a shoe there is a wonder chef the I have taken the CSS uh, the class name of this uh, text which is green in color now let's say I want to click on the shoe product out here and I have used the class name locating strategy of this green text called minimum 30% off now when I run the Selenium web driver script the Selenium web driver script might get confused because it will see that this product also has the same class name this product also has the same class name this product also has the same class name locating strategy value okay that means the locating strategy that I'm using to actually perform action that is I want to actually click on the shoe product but since the class class attribute values of all the four products are same it might be possible that when Selenium web driver script is running instead of clicking on shoes it might click on bag or on 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 this particular shoe or on this particular wonder chef and that happens because or that will happen because the class attribute value of all the four, four, four products are same so that is why when we use the class name locating strategy to 
identify a product and perform action on that we should be careful on using the class name locating strategy and that is happening out here now that we should be careful about that because the class name of all the four products are same and why the class class attribute value of all the four products are same that is because if you look at the look and feel the cosmetic behavior of these four products the cosmetic behavior of the four products are same because if you see the text size is same the font size is same the font color is same the background color is same so instead of clicking on this particular shoe what I intend to do and what the selenium web script should do when the actually the selenium web script runs it becomes confused i might click on this product or on this product on this product 